for um you know people who aren't uh really hip to dmt yet let's talk about kind of how it affects morals in your opinion what would you say it has done to your and maybe you you know i don't think sorry sorry to uh, keep elaborating before i ask the question you may have already kind of been very well attuned to your intrinsic morals or you know sort of our human objective morality but after all your experiences and research would you say that it's you know benefited your moral compass or it made you want to be a better person and love all people yeah absolutely i mean when i decided to get serious about researching dmt and, and documenting my experiences i made some lifestyle changes i stopped masturbating which have been a habit for far too long even you know after marriage and oh, yeah. Not that I'm embarrassed to say that. I'm just being brutally yeah. honest and open about yeah. myself. You know, uh, my wife's not giving me sex. Oh, God, I'll go up. I mean, come on. And, uh, you know, the reason I stopped that is, and it was long overdue, I, it just felt incompatible with, and I didn't know what the DMT experience was. I, you know, it just felt like the right thing to do to mm-hmm. to stop that and you know i i've remained abstemious from from masturbating since that day i also stopped drinking and i've never been a big drinker but i could see with my addictive personality that if i didn't rein it in it was probably going to go that way and it didn't seem compatible with pursuing research with the spirit molecule and again i've i've not drunk since that that she is ago and then so i mean you know those are two examples, mm. as I said, huge boost in my emotional intelligence, which had always been lacking. And I put that down to being conscious of what I, what influences I choose to allow on my psyche. If I'm going to watch TV, what am I watching? I mean, the stuff my wife watches, I can't watch that stuff. You know, like the crimes, the murders. I'm like, my God, I, yeah. I just I don't uh-huh. watch that. I yeah. just like, no, no, no. And I struggle to watch the news or, you know, it's like, oh, no. Yeah. And then more recently with, you know, I mean, I'm not saying it made me an angel at all. Far from it. That that dark aspect of your psyche is still there. But I think you're able to, uh, you're able to get on more friendlier terms with it and recognize it, you know, for what it is to some extent. Mm. And then more recently with 5-MeO-DMT, mm. I, I was like, man i i gotta stop watching pornography i gotta stop looking at pornography as as much and that, and that's within marriage that's within you know um a loving relationship a, a healthy sex life with my wife but it's like man i, I got i gotta like stop that so again yeah. you know that's a, you know real life example of moral improvement you know at the behest of psychedelic research the interesting thing i i'm glad that you said all of that because you know that's actually a conversation that we have in this in this home a lot about those things and we all maybe and i'll speak for men for example i i'm sure women do too but just coming from men and you know pornography and masturbation and all that stuff we all know intrinsically the right path the path of greatest success or greatest energy even and i mean like we were talking armin and i were talking about the other day you can read ancient texts for example uh i may have the name wrong at the tao te ching one of these something ancient chinese texts for example where it says yeah you should not be ejaculating uh many times and it's actually going to range in the seasons and this is what's best for your body and i swear ask any man it is uh, losing the seed is not promoting energy. It's it's not actually promoting health, and we all know that. And so, for you saying that, that's you know, I'm gonna heed that. <laughs> yeah, there's also a lot of scientific garbage pseudoscience uh, regarding the you know apparent prostate health you would achieve by masturbating more uh, more uh, often or whatever what have your psychological health it's it's a bunch of nonsense like there there actually is no scientific backing in it 
and it became sort of a fad. I, 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 st- I still remember a few years ago, like, just straight up reading big articles, like, all over the news and social media, like, yeah, you should you should jack off more or something like it's good for you or whatever. And, mm-hmm. and it's a bunch of crap. I mean, what that is, is uh, it, it's, I mean, it's staring you right in the face. It's just porn industry propaganda. Yeah. You know, it's just watch more porn, got, get a membership, buy porn, you know, consume, consume, consume. And that's low energy yeah. behavior. You're yeah. you're literally uh, expunging yourself of good energy for what? I mean, it's, and you're literally you expunging yourself. You should pursue yourself. women. You should pursue <laughs> relationships with people. You, oh, and if you're not gonna do that, then just control yourself because your your godlike powers are being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I mean you're right. I agree, but it's like it's interesting in in respect that. I mean, it's a little bit different in the USA, but I mean, the, the the legal drugs that we're permitted to buy is alcohol and cigarettes. I mean, cigarettes just, what, what do you get from this? No, you just get a nicotine rush, you know, and it, it's addictive, as addictive as heroin. But, and I'm not against alcohol, you know, I've had some wonderful nights on alcohol, but I mean, in terms of, it's not going to increase the frequency of your light body it, it's you know it's, it's going to decrease it and you know it, too much of it results in harm to health and potentially life-changing injuries to yourself and those around you you know i, I know from experience you know you act out of character when you're you're drunk yeah 